Hi, I am Miriam and this is Chris Hi. and we make Keto Chow. And today we just want to do a little video about some of the vitamins that we put in Keto Chow. We decided that we want to have the best of the best that we could give for ourselves and for you. Yeah, so a lot of times when you see vitamins added to a product, um, the version that's used is the cheapest version that the manufacturer can get. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of times they're looking for a vegan version, but so humans, we have animal cells in us and animal cells have requirements for very specific versions of vitamins. And if we don't get those specific versions from what we're eating, we have to make it ourselves. Mm -hmm. And some people, well, there's a thing called the MTHFR gene mutation where people aren't able to make some of the B vitamins that they need. Um, so in Keto Chow, we are using the best versions of the vitamins and minerals that you can possibly get. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that we use it personally. Mm -hmm. It's not just something that we're trying to get the cheapest version possible to send out there and make a lot of money. We actually eat it. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes for extended periods of time. Miriam did it for four weeks straight. Yeah. Where she ate absolutely nothing but Keto Chow. So we just want to talk about some of them really close, really quickly rather. Um, for magnesium, we're not using magnesium oxide, uh, which is the cheapest version. Looks really good because it has a lot of magnesium. Your body can't absorb it. So what do we use? Magnesium malate. That's right. Um, it's magnesium bound to a malic acid, which is a, uh, an amino acid. Your body's able to absorb it and it doesn't cause bathroom problems like some versions of mm -hmm. magnesium. Um, we use vitamin A palmitate. That has nothing to do with palm trees or palm kernel oil or any of that stuff. It has to do with its retinol. It's the version of vitamin A that our animal cells need. Um, if you use beta carotene, it has to get converted to retinol. And your body doesn't do a very good job at it. It's very inefficient. So the amount of vitamin A that you would be getting from, um, that, well, that's on a label from beta carotene is not what your body is actually able to get. Uh, vitamin D3, you know about that one? So D2 is what a lot of people take in pill form and D3 is better for you. Yeah, so D2 has to be converted using sunlight into D3. Um, if you, and, and yeah, so the, yeah, we use vitamin D3, not D2. Uh, let's see, what other ones do we use? We use methylated um, B vitamins, as I talked about earlier. So it's the B vitamins that already have the methyl attached to them. And that's important for people with the AMTHFR gene mutation, which there's a surprising number of people who have that and will have issues with depression, and metabolism and other things just because they're not they getting the right. They can't methylate the vitamins in yep. their body. And so by having it methylated ahead of time, it's a shortcut for them. Yep. So that, and we actually um, put that in because we don't have that problem, but then we, we had testing done and we still don't you know, have that gene mutation, but it's still, you know. There's so many people that do. Yeah, a lot of people do. Um, we have iodide in there. Uh, potassium iodide, which um, a lot of doctors talk about the importance of iodine and iodide. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I was just going to say a lot of people say, why is there so much salt in keto chow? Yes. You There's need so much salt. So much salt. Your body gets rid of salt. On a ketogenic diet. When you're doing keto and you need to replenish those electrolytes and salt is a very important one. Because if you get too low on salt, on sodium specifically, um, your body will start to, your kidneys will flush more and more potassium and then magnesium. And it's all because you are lowering the amount of um, insulin. And when you lower insulin, your body burns through. It doesn't hold on to sodium artificially. Mm -hmm. It does what it's supposed to do, what you're designed to do, what your kidneys are supposed to do, and it flushes that out. So you need more of it. So don't fear the salt. Um, we also have selenium. A lot of detractors of the ketogenic diet point to some studies that were done in the early like 1920s where there were problems with children on a ketogenic diet with malnutrition. Mm 
And the number one thing that was problematic for those children was selenium. We have ample selenium in keto chow. Um, once again, we use it for ourselves. We don't want to get a nutritional deficiency. Um, we also have, got, have biotin. Um, we have, so with vitamin K, we were talking about this earlier with vitamin D3 and whatnot. There are different versions. The version that we as animals need of vitamin K, which allows your blood to clot and things like that, is vitamin K2. Very specifically, it's vitamin MK7. Um, and that is what we use in keto chow. So uh, we have molybdenum, um, vitamin B12, and a lot of potassium and magnesium, sodium. It has the whole range of everything that you need. One interesting thing is we don't have added phosphorus or calcium. And why is that? Because of the protein that we use. So the, the sweet flavors of keto chow, we're using milk protein isolate as the, uh, as the protein source. Now in the savory soup flavors, um, a lot of those we're using a beef protein that doesn't have as much phosphorus, so we have to add a um, calcium phosphate. But the sweet flavors, we don't have to add any at all, and it's very bioavailable. And it, it all keeps coming back to, we want to use the, the most bioavailable forms possible. Uh, we want to use the highest quality. We're not skimping. We're not trying to just make a buck, you know, throwing a bunch of magnesium oxide, things like that. We're using the best versions that we possibly can because we're trying to promote human nutrition. And yeah. Yeah. Um, quickly, if you want to, at the bottom of this video in the comments, if you have any more questions about the vitamins we use, we'd be happy to answer them in a follow up video. So. Yep. We will um, let you go. All right. Bye. Thanks.